G'day folks, I'm out in Riverina, New South Wales. I've been doing a bit of photography today. I photographed some brolgers, some emus, some kangaroos. I've just had a wonderful time. And now there's only two or three hours left of the day. I'm gonna pull up on the bank of the creek here, drown some worms, and see if I can catch a fish. If I do, it'll most likely be a carp, but there are other species in this creek, and if I'm lucky, I might catch one. But when I come out here to Riverina, New South Wales, it's not always about the fish, it's about the environment. This is one of my favorite places. I love it here. Let's go and see if I can catch a fish to end what has been a great day. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, hang on, that's not my GoPro. That's in my pocket. Now, last time I was here, I had this rod in over there close to those reeds. And that's exactly where I'm going to have it again this time. Right there in front of them reeds, and I caught an absolutely massive carp there too. Actually, last time I was here, I had a double hookup. I caught a couple of big carp. One was a big carp, a big carp, a big carp. And a couple of small ones. <laughs> Anyhow, rod number one's in. Let's stop talking crap and put rod number two in. Rod number two has got a bit... Rod number two has still got a fair bit of weight on it from uh, a recent fishing trip. So I might put that right over there near them reeds. There's a fair bit of current out there. Where this other rod is, there's not too much current. There's a bit of a backwater here. But out there against those reeds, there's quite a lot of current. So that can go out there. Because it's got the extra weight on it. Time to play the waiting game. Time to play the relaxation game. This rod just had a bite. It's been like about 10 seconds. Look at this! Whoa, it's like put me bloody right in the river! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I've only been here five minutes. I've had one bite and then he went away. And then I've just kind of sat down and it comes straight back. I just put the rod in. Come out of there. That is, that's what I came here for. Well, it's not what I came here for. I just came here to catch a fish, but that's what uh, I expected I might catch when I came here. There we go. One Riverina mud marlin. There we go, folks. I've been here five minutes and I'm already on the board. Right, yeah, rod number two. I'll put you back over there in that corner where you were. I was there for like not even five minutes and in the first five minutes I'd had two really nice bites one of which resulted in a hookup and catching a carp look at this straight away he's got it he's got it got him another one my god I haven't even been here ten minutes and I've already hooked up the two carp I'm assuming this is a carp if it's not it's something big if this isn't a carp, then it's a damn big red fin. <laughs> it is a carp. Just as I expected. A mud all over his nose. I've never seen that before. It's like I've been digging a hole like my dog. Ah, come back here. I haven't got a landing net or lip grips or anything today. I'm really unprepared. I haven't been here 10 minutes and I've already caught two. Oh dear, I'm getting drenched. Right, there we go. There we have it, folks. Carp number two in less than 10 minutes. That is so awesome. Right, yeah, I'll put rod number two back where it was. I kid you not, I've been here 10 minutes and I've already caught two carp. I have not even had a chance to run through what I'm doing exactly today, what bait I'm using or anything. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to sit on my esky lid and have a drink. Right, yeah, I've been here about an hour. Now, in the first two minutes, I caught two carp on that rod there on the right-hand side and then nothing. Before I even had a chance to sit on my, uh, the lid of my esky and have a drink, I caught two fish, but then it's gone dead and I've caught nothing since. Now I've got two rods in, 
They're both rigged almost identically. They've both got a, uh, a Pat Noster rig with a small hook and a small sinker and a bunch of worms. I'm using worms on both, rod, both rods. I have got corn with me and I thought about putting some corn on because corn is a dynamite bait for carp. But the thing is, I know there are a few catfish in this waterway. There's a few redfin from time to time and possibly even a golden perch. And I'm not sure whether those fish will take the corn. Every time I come up here, I know that when I catch a fish, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a carp. But it's always in the back of my mind that I could catch one of those other species, something a bit more desirable. And I think that by using corn, I'm making the uh, I'm making that even less likely to happen. So by using worms, I'm more likely to catch one of those more desirable fish. Just getting a little bit of a nibble here. You can just sort of see it pulling slowly. I reckon something's sucking on that. I'll pick it up. Got him. Not very big. Another little carp is my guess. Similar size to the last two, I reckon. Yep, nailed it. <laughs> wow. They must have all been spawned at once. They're all exactly the same size. Oh no, it's phone ringing. I know who this is. Righto folks, I caught another carp. Carp number three, you're now going to answer the phone. Here we go. Surely I've got to catch at least one fish on this rod today. The Black Queen never fails. The Black Queen never fails. Yeah, something's pulling it. Something's swimming with it a bit. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Got him. Ha ha ha. The Black Queen never fails, folks. The Black Queen never fails. A rod that's older than I am. <laughs> and I'm so old that my beard's grey. If this fishing rod could go grey, it'd be grey too. Look at that. Beach that. Carpio number four EO. Rightio folks, I'm about to pull both rods in and head home. It's about an hour and a half back to my place from here. Who would drive an hour and a half to catch carp? Oh, I'm getting a bite. I would. I might catch one more yet before I go, if I'm lucky. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not, uh, why not do so? And I'll see you in the next video.